Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna see how to use Sticky Session with Ingress Controller. All right, so the agenda for this session, for this video is going to be this, okay? So I've got my Kubernetes cluster. If I do kubectl get nodes, okay? So we have a three node cluster with one control plane and the Kubernetes version is uh, 1.24. So we've got the Kubernetes cluster. We're gonna deploy Metal LB as the load balancing solution in our cluster. And we're gonna deploy the Nginx Ingress Controller and we're going to create a simple nginx deployment with two replicas expose the deployment as the cluster ip service create an ingress resource access the nginx application through ingress controller see how it actually works because this is two replica it's going to direct the traffic uh, to the two replicas in a round robin fashion so you will see that and then configure sticky session or session affinity whatever you want to call it and then access the service and see how it actually works after enabling the sticky session so that's what we'll be doing in this video in fact this one was requested by one of the viewer engine boss kurt if i pronounce his name correctly otherwise apologies okay let's do it first is installing metal lb deploying the metal lb solution so back in my terminal here uh, metal LB. For that, I'm going to go to the Metal LB documentation, installation, and I'm going to run these two commands. First one creates the namespace, and the second one actually deploys all the resources required. So now, if I do kubectl get namespace, we have the Metal LB system namespace. Metal LB system get all and running container is getting created and there is this container configure because there's one additional step we need to do which is to create the config map so there are multiple configurations that we can use with metal lb but i'm going to use the simplest of the configuration which is layer 2 configuration so i'm going to copy this sorry not all of those just this bit here going to metal lb config map .yaml paste it here and my IP address range I want to use 172.16.16.240 to 172.16.16.250 so 172.16.16.0 slash 24 is my Kubernetes cluster network and I want to use the last few IP addresses uh, for Metal LB. So whenever I create a service of type load balancer, an IP address will be assigned from this range, in this range, okay? So I've got that config map, and now I'm gonna create that, deploy that. kubectl create minus f, Metal LB config map .yaml, that's created. And now if I do Metal LB system get all, so we have the controller component, speaker component, all running fine. So we've deployed Metal LB fine. Okay, so next step is to deploy the ingress controller. So for that, I, again, I'm going to refer to the documentation. Kubernetes ingress installation. I'll put a link to all these uh, resources in the video description. So for now, it's the Nginx ingress controller's installation guide. Again, you have a few other methods of installation. One is through Helm. The other one is through the applying the manifest directly and then i think there's also a helm version so sorry that's the helm version that's the one here all right let's do that so it's going to install it's going to deploy ingress controller nginx ingress controller from the from this helm repository in the namespace ingress nginx we don't have to create this namespace this option will create it for us all right so let's copy that paste it here it's going to take few seconds to deploy nginx ingress controller so there's a lot of resources that it will deploy okay so that's done and if i do helm list you don't see anything because that's been deployed to a specific namespace so if i do helm list dash a for all namespaces you see this one has been deployed to the ingress nginx namespace so now if i do Ingress Nginx get all, so you can see the Ingress Nginx controller is running fine. And that's the, the service, and that has the load balancer IP. So that's been, this IP 172.16.16.240 is the first IP in the IP address range that we've configured for the Metal LB. So Metal LB was working fine. Metal LB handed over this IP address 
to this ingress controller service right so we've got metal lb deployed we have deployed the nginx ingress controller so now let's take a look at the nginx sample nginx deployment that we're going to deploy okay so for that i'm going to go into my kubernetes repository so that's my kubernetes repository that i've git cloned to my local system and in here if i go to the yamls directory and then to ingress demo All right so i'm going to pick uh, a sample nginx configuration here maybe nginx deploy green or nginx deploy blue i'm looking for an nginx deployment configuration manifest with some init containers in it okay so let's copy nginx deploy blue to a temp directory okay and i'm going to edit that file all right so if you look in here it's a deployment i'm going to change the name from nginx deploy blue to nginx 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 so it's a very simple deployment manifest so you can see here there are two containers so the first one is the init container what i'm doing here is i'm mounting a volume and i'm using shell to write some content into web data index.html and in the actual nginx container i am actually mounting the same volume web data under user share nginx html which is the document root for the nginx so anything you put in this directory the nginx process will serve it okay so the init container will write the content to a particular volume and then we mount that volume in the nginx container so we kind of put an index file in the in the server root so that's what we're doing here so i'm going to modify this init container command a little bit here so instead of echoing this one i'm interested in echoing the actual container name hostname so when we run the when we deploy this nginx application when we expose this as a service and then when we access this in our browser it's going to show us the the host name of the container it's running okay so host name that's all fine maybe i can change the codes a little bit okay so that should do so all I'm doing is echoing the host name to the index.html, then mounting that in the Nginx container. Okay, now let's deploy this kubectl create minus f temp nginx.yaml. So that's done. Let's take a look at what's in the default namespace. Okay, so init, so it's running the initial init container at the moment. So init container has been run, so now the pod is getting initialized. Right, pod is getting initialized and the pod is running now. Okay, so the next step is to expose this deployment. kubectl expose deploy nginx minus minus port 80. That's it. So service has been created. kubectl get service. So nginx and please make a note of it. This service is of type cluster IP. So you can't access this service from outside your Kubernetes cluster. It's accessible only within the kubernetes cluster okay our idea is to use ingress to access this service access this nginx application so that's why i've created this service as cluster ip so if you don't have an nginx ingress controller or any ingress controller you would have created this service as a node port service or a load balancer service okay so the next step now is to create the ingress. So we've got the ingress controller, we've got the cluster IP service. Now we need to create an ingress. So we tell ingress controller how to route the traffic to this Nginx service, okay? So again, in the ingress demo directory, I have a few ingress resources. I'm going to pick this the simplest one, the ingress resource one.yaml. So let's copy that under slash temp ingress resource.yaml and if i edit that one so you can see it's an ingress resource that we are trying to deploy and i'm also going to change the name to ingress resource ingress class name is nginx so any traffic any traffic coming to nginx.example.com will be directed to this service again i have to change the name of the service because our service is called nginx on port 80 so that's it it's a simple ingress we do kubectl get service so we have this service the service is called nginx kubectl create 
let's deploy the ingress now okay so ingress has been created kubectl get ingress so we have one ingress kubectl describe ingress if i describe that ingress you can see the host is nginx.example.com so if we browse to nginx.example.com ingress control the nginx ingress controller running in our cluster will route the traffic to the nginx service on port 80 and you can already see the endpoints here so we have one replica okay so i'm going to show because we are testing the sticky session i'm going to increase the replica to two okay kubectl scale deploy nginx replicas two okay kubectl get all so the second part is coming up for initializing kubectl get service kubectl get endpoints okay so now you can see the nginx service has got two endpoints 192.168.41.132.77.131 171, so that means we've got two parts two replicas running kubectl get all so we have the nginx deployment with two replicas and you can see there's two parts and also the nginx has got two endpoints so it's all well and good and we also have the ingress and then we can see the back end the service has got two endpoints so whenever we browse to nginx.example.com it should take us to these two uh, nginx pods so remember when we created the nginx pod there, there was an init container that tells the the host name so when we browse to nginx.example.com it should show us the host name of the container so now without sticky session it's going to show us it's going to connect us to these parts in a round robin fashion so you will see when i'm when i go to the browser so if i say so before that i got to add 172.16.16.240 which is the ip address of the ingress controller service and i'm assigning that to nginx or example.com so which means in my host in my machine local machine in my laptop if i go to nginx.example.com it will take me to 172.16.16.240 okay so if i do curl nginx.example.com you see so that's the the container name so we are accessing the nginx pod and it's showing us the name of the container where the nginx process is actually running okay so now if i run that again you will see that's the different container name m6 vb m6 vb so it's kind of a round robin fashion because we have we have two nginx pods we have two replicas in that deployment and we have an ingress the ingress controller is sending traffic to the nginx service which has two endpoints which has two pods okay but our goal is to configure sticky session which means whenever we browse to whenever we establish a session with one of the pod any further requests subsequent all subsequent requests should go to the same pod we don't want to we don't want to get served by different pods for different for each request we want to stick with the same pod for the same for the entire session so if i go to my browser and go to nginx dot example dot com okay you can see m6 i'm gonna refresh keep refreshing it m6 vb m6 vb m6 vb so there's no sticky session it's kind of round robin so it goes through the two replicas two pods and um, as you can see the the container name it's is getting changed okay so now let's configure sticky session the way to configure sticky session is again i'm going to refer to the ingress controller we configure sticky session at the ingress controller level okay so again in the nginx ingress controller documentation if i go to examples on the left you see sticky sessions okay so sticky sessions are enabled by adding annotations to your ingress resource okay so these are the the ingress resource sorry these are the annotations of interest uh, which you can actually use uh, but there is an, also an example here session affinity example ingress so i'm going to copy the link go back to the terminal going to get that one here okay and edit that file 
So basically that's an example ingress they have given us and everything is kind of same. What we want to do is we want to just add these annotations. That's it. So I'm going to copy those annotations and going to edit my ingress resource that I originally used. Okay, so this is the actual ingress that I used. Any traffic to nginx or example.com forwarded to the nginx service on port 80. So in here, I'm going to modify this ingress under metadata. I'm going to paste these annotations. So these are the four required annotations. So affinity set to cookie, session cookie name is set to route, and session cookie expires. The cookie has got a time to live. So so this 172.800 is the number of seconds the cookie is valid. So after this period, the cookie will expire and you might get a session on a different pod or, a, or the, the other replica, okay? So let's save this. Let's delete our existing ingress. kubectl get ingress or ingress is gone. Okay, so the ingress has been created again. So now if I describe the ingress resource, so you can see everything is the same, except that now we have these annotations. So that's how you configure the sticky sessions in the ingress controller. Okay, so that's been configured now. And if I go back to the browser and now if I test it, okay, so M6, that's fine, M6, M6. I keep refreshing, it's always going to be M6, okay? No matter how, how many times I click, my session, my traffic is always being sent to this pod, M7, CM6, kubectl get pod, so we have this one. So my initial connection was established with this pod, my initial session was established with this pod, so all my subsequent requests are being sent to this pod, uh, that's by adding these four annotations. So I think that's it, that's quite simple. In Nginx Ingress Controller, you add these four basic annotations. There are, of course, there are other annotations that if you want, you can customize it further, but these are the, the minimal basic required annotations in order to get the sticky session or session affinity working. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.